I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. Two Supreme Court decisions that gave American women the right to have an abortion now hang in the balance. Earlier this week, Politico published excerpts of a draft opinion showing the majority of the justices voting to overturn Roe v. Wade and Casey v. Planned Parenthood, a draft that the Supreme Court says is not final. Chief Justice John Roberts calls the leak a betrayal. The draft is reportedly from February. As part of the court's process, draft opinions are circulated and debate among the justices continues until the June recess. Opinions aren't final until they're officially released. A leak like this is highly irregular. If the draft holds as a decision, it will have a seismic impact. For more on this, I'm joined by Amy Howe. She's a legal expert and co-founder of SCOTUS Blog. She's been following this case and others in real time. Amy, always nice to talk to you. So this Mississippi case was argued in December. So it seems that we know that this leak is the real deal and it's a leaked majority opinion uh, by Justice Alito. Give us in a nutshell what it says. It says essentially that there is nothing in the Constitution about a right to an abortion, that there is no history of there being a right to an abortion, and that the Supreme Court, when it held that there was a constitutional right to an abortion in Roe versus Wade, and then again in Planned Parenthood versus Casey in 1992, was wrong. And so it's okay to overrule those decisions. And so Justice Alito said, abortion is a moral issue about which people can differ, but it's essentially not a constitutional issue and it should go back to the states and the people and their elected representatives can decide whether or not abortion should be available. So it's settled law unless some people think it's not so settled and then in fact they can just turn overturn it. Yeah, so it was a 67 page decision, which even by Supreme Court blockbuster standards is really long. You know, Justice Alito clearly is walking through the entire history of abortion in colonial era and then in the United States and then walking through explaining why he thought it was acceptable to overrule Roe and Casey, talking about Roe and Casey being wrong when they were decided about the test that Casey established, whether or not there is an undue burden on a woman's right to obtain an abortion. So you've listened to those arguments. Are you surprised when you see what's been written as, as opposed to what you'd been hearing? I was really not that surprised by the substance of the decision. It was clear after that argument that there were definitely three votes to overrule Roe and Casey, Clarence Thomas, Brett Kavanaugh, and Samuel Alito. The Chief Justice John Roberts wanted was talking about an alternative ground that would have left Roe and Casey in place formally, wouldn't have formally overruled them, but still would have upheld the Mississippi law. And so the question was, what were Amy Coney Barrett, the, the court's newest justice, and Neil Gorsuch going to do? The leak, obviously, is a huge surprise. Any thoughts on that? It's impossible to say. It could be uh, perhaps a clerk from a liberal justice who wants to, to stir up outrage at the court's decision. It could be a conservative clerk to a conservative justice who is trying, is worried that maybe one of the conservative justices, one of the five in the majority, is getting a little squishy. Could you legally speaking, have a country where abortion is legal in half the states and, and not legal? I and mean, what does that set up, legally speaking, down the road? I think that there are you know, something like 23 states that would likely ban abortion or, or severely restrict abortion if Roe versus Wade and Planned Parenthood versus Casey were overruled. Another 20 or so that have state have laws that would keep abortion legal. There were a handful, maybe seven or so, that are gray, where it's not quite certain what, they're, what they would do. And so that is an entirely plausible scenario. Amy Howe with SCOTUS Blog, thank you, as always, for your tremendous insight. I always appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Great to talk to you.